And we begin tonight with the latest on Ian. Now this storm has ravaged Florida. This right here is a live look that you're seeing of St. Augustine Beach in Florida, where the surf you can see is still pretty rough. Yeah, it's still pretty bad out there tonight. Now Ian has moved out over the Atlantic right now and has regained hurricane strength and is setting its sights now on Georgia and South Carolina. And we are getting more images of this destruction in southwestern Florida. This is an aerial look of Lee County. A number of buildings were destroyed. Part of the causeway there was wiped out. The bridge that connects Sanibel Island to the mainland. And about an hour north of Lee County, there's widespread damage. Take a look at that. High winds destroyed an entire mobile home park. Appliances, furniture are still strewing about the neighborhood there. Now flooding in central Florida tonight is putting residents in danger. Orange County firefighters, you can see were busy evacuating people from a nursing home here. This was earlier today. Now crews took out people on stretchers and moved them to higher ground. And look at this. This is in the park uh, of downtown Orlando, right near the downtown area of Orlando. A lake overflowed after torrential rains there. But this vehicle was still making it somehow, still going there through the water there. So it's really uh, a really serious situation there. Fox's Madeline Rivera has more tonight on the damage from Fort Myers. Forecasters expecting Ian to pick up strength as it enters the Atlantic before moving north towards Georgia and the Carolinas. I'm in awe over the, such destruction. It just is horrible here. Ian carving a path of destruction along Florida's Gulf Coast. After making landfall Wednesday as a Category 4 hurricane, now millions remain without power in Florida as search and rescue efforts are underway to help those who did not make it out in time. If you need to be evacuated, step out of your front door. FEMA calling the damage in areas like Fort Myers catastrophic, with President Biden saying Ian could be the deadliest storm in Florida's history. The president approving a major disaster declaration for Florida, freeing up aid for recovery efforts. The federal government will cover 100 percent of the cost to clear debris and for all the costs that the state has to do, has to engage in and expend to save lives. And as the storm makes its way out of the state, central Florida has been slammed with flooding rains. Meanwhile, forecasters expect Ian to regain hurricane strength ahead of its second landfall along the Georgia and Carolina coastlines. People there preparing for life-threatening storm surges, flooding and high winds. Be weather aware of that and to take precautions now uh, to keep you and your family safe. The governors of Georgia, North and South Carolina have all issued a state of emergency. In Fort Myers, Florida, Mallory Rivera, Fox News.